Hello, Scorpio. This is your reading for the 20th through the 21st. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Excuse me. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. If you're interested in a personal reading, the link to the website is down below the video, guys. All right, let's see what's going on for Scorpio in love. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Please show me love messages for Scorpio. Scorpio, please show me. Three of Cups. Hmm. Some of you are happy. Some of you are happy to reconnect. Some of you just want to reconnect. Others of you, I, I feel, are um, currently dating, hanging out with family and friends even. Then we have the moon there. Hmm. Could be a cancer individual that you guys are thinking about but somebody i feel like you guys have strong feelings for that maybe you have not shared these feelings with this person even okay nine of swords really thinking heavily about it mm -hmm. and you're not sure how they feel you're not sure how they feel about reconnecting A lot of you guys want to move on with this person. Um, there, there was, there, there's a lot of hurt attached to a situation um, currently that that you're feeling trapped in. You don't know how to remove yourself from it. Then we have the Four of Cups there. Hmm. You know. Some of you guys may be having nightmares or um, dreams about someone that you were once very happy with. Somebody that I'm feeling like, you know, these dreams are dredging up old feelings. There is... At one point in time, I'm feeling like you guys really wanted to reconnect with this individual or with a individual, but something something was kind of hazy for you. Also, what I'm getting here is that at one point in time, you guys wanted to kind of date around didn't wasn't really sure like what you really wanted but there's something i feel like that is connecting you to an individual that maybe you guys are sharing some dreams some synchronicities um communication and it may not be verbal communication it may not even be direct contact, but there's something that I feel like that has been revealed to you guys. And a lot of you are only wanting one person's affections here now with the four cups. No longer want to date around, no, wanting, no longer wanting to explore options only focusing on one individual. But also feeling like, you know, maybe there's not a chance that you guys could reconnect. Yeah, feeling a lot of conflict around this. Please show me more about the Three of Cups here. the world definitely um the feeling of wanting to go out and date and you know explore your options i'm feeling like that has come to an end that has come to an end there's a lot that you guys have learned okay a lot that you have learned a cycle has been wrapped up saturn you know this is all about karma and learning the lessons that that you are supposed to learn so you can go to the next step or the next level, okay? There's something that you guys have learned here. Something has ended. Please show me more about the moon. 
Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you are just working right now. And I think that's what um, is keeping you level. Because you're pouring yourself into that. But I'm getting that even while you're at work, um, it, your mind is constantly being drawn to a situation with a particular individual. And then once you go to sleep at night, it's like, you know, I, can I just get a break from thinking about this? Please show me more about the Nine of Swords. Please show me more about the Nine of Swords. Three of Swords. Yeah. It's like you just cannot get away from it. It's all you think about. Um, if you guys have been betrayed, um, if you feel like you have betrayed someone, it's like you you can't escape these thoughts. It's like all around you. Um, let me pull on my card here for the Four of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. I'm feeling like you guys are really wanting to build something with someone or somebody is going to my son with the ice maker. Um somebody's wanting to build something with you, to establish something with you, or you establish something with them. But there is definitely um something that you guys have realized that I feel like maybe you want to rebuild something here. Something that you feel like was broken. Either your heart or their heart. Definitely a connection here. Okay. Only want to work with that one individual. Where before I'm feeling like there was a strong three-party influence here. Okay. We have the three of pentacles, three of swords, and the three of cups. There was a there's strong possibility of a three-party influence. Hmm. What's coming in for Scorpio? Eight of Pentacles. Repeating itself. Four of Cups. Repeating itself. You guys are not sure how to how to get this started. You're not sure. You're not sure if this person will even accept what you have to offer. You're not sure if they want to reconnect. You feel like they're going to turn their back on you or vice versa. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Oh my gosh. The Nine of Swords. Because you cannot get this off of your mind. The Six of Pentacles. Oh. You really want to be there for this individual. Where you feel like maybe you let them down before. That maybe they will not give this a second chance. Okay. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Gemini energy. Um, Virgo, Gemini, Cancer is very strong here. Okay. Um, Pisces may be here. Taurus. I think I said that already. Uh, a Leo energy as well. Um, with the fixed signs in the world energy. Okay, guys. So that is what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.